What's up guys, today we're taking a look at a very fun little whoop that only costs $89. This is the Newbie Drone Hummingbird V3. So when I was first getting into FPV in 2017 or so, Newbie Drone was one of the go-to shops for tiny whoops and just tiny whoop gear, and I feel like they still are. So this is the Hummingbird V3. This is an $89 1S tiny whoop that's a lot of fun to fly indoors and outdoors. It uses these tiny 1S Nitro Nectar gold lipos. We have the PH 2.0 connector on here. I'm going to be using the 300 milliamp. Uh, version of these batteries. They also have a 250 milliamp, but I was sent the 300. So in my flight testing, I'm going to be using these. If you choose to use 250, it might affect the flight characteristics a little bit. You might be a little better at freestyle, but it probably won't affect it too much. So the drone is made of plastic. We've got a nice little canopy over here that's protecting the all-in-one board. So inside we have the Hummingbird V3 F4. This is an all-in-one board that has 12 amp ESCs that come running Blue Jay. It also has an ELRS 2.4 gigahertz receiver built right in. And it also has a 25 milliwatt video transmitter. It's also got some fancy little LEDs around the sides. The camera on board is a 600 TVL BI analog camera. The motors on board are 0802, 25,000 kV motors, and then the props are Tri-Blade Aussie props. The motors on this are plug and play, so if you do have to replace a motor, you can just unplug it, remove these three screws, put your new motor on there, plug it in, and you should be good to go. Yeah, there's really not much more to cover on this thing. It's pretty straightforward, little tiny whoop. It's completely made of plastic. You've got a bottom mounted battery. This top canopy is just holding the camera and the antenna. And then this is the ELRS antenna. And then obviously we have our battery plug in the back here. So when I went outside and I originally did my testing, I was a little disappointed. I felt like it was bobbling around a little bit. It was minor, but it was definitely noticeable. And since it was so minor, I assumed that it was just a poor tune or maybe something was loose. I went back to my studio just to take a closer look at it and make sure that everything was really secured down. And I noticed that the canopy screws that are holding the camera in were actually very loose. So if you end up ordering this drone, make sure that the screws holding in this canopy are tightened down. These three screws, one, two, and then three, this is this one on the back. Um, those ones were the ones that were loose. So as soon as I tightened those down, I took it back outside for another test and this thing flew awesome.
but this thing flies awesome. I really like how it performs for a little 1S tiny whoop this size. The tune is very smooth and it doesn't need any adjusting. Uh, my one complaint is really with the camera. I really feel like this could be improved and I'll probably honestly get one of my spare Caddx Ant cameras or something in this thing soon because this thing is a lot of fun to fly and the camera quality really isn't the greatest. So I'm gonna try and upgrade this to something like a 1200 TVL or just something a little bit better just because the camera quality isn't that good. I did crash a few times and the drone flew away from each crash. Uh, the frame did crack in one of the crashes, but it's definitely still flyable. And actually this reminds me something that Newbie Drone offers on drones that use their Cockroach 65 and 75 frames has unlimited replacements. So this drone uses their Cockroach 65 frame. So even if you end up absolutely destroying one of these drones, you can get a new frame from them for free. So for $89, I think this is one of the best little analog whoops that you can get. Again, the only complaint that I have is with the camera I'm not gonna lie, it's not that good. Um, so I'm gonna try and upgrade that, otherwise the tune is smooth and it's just a lot of fun to fly indoors or outdoors. Links to this drone will be down in the description. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like, and if you have any questions about the Hummingbird V3, leave a comment down below.